Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. And thank you so much for joining our group. And I am so happy to see that our YouTube channel has been growing. I'm so happy to see the group has been growing. I'm so happy to see the cohesiveness, the positivity, how everyone is sharing their experiences, and we're really making a difference in these children's lives. So what I wanted to share with you is that I've created something based on a lot of the times people ask, what can I teach? How can I get to that lesson? Well, I usually make virtual libraries. This is something I've been doing for years. So I created our own Ukraine Volunteer Teachers Virtual Library. Let's take a look inside. So when you see the library, all you have to do is click right. And on the following pages, there are a selection of virtual libraries, social emotional learning rooms and lessons for all ages. DLE Rock has organized this library for all of our teachers to use. The first room is so great and we have to say thank you to Richard Graham. He was so kind to reach out and allow us to use this room in order to get access to this room. Once you have gotten, um, a class scheduled you're going to have to contact one of our scheduling moderators because there is a special link and a special passcode for you we cannot put this anywhere publicly this was a request from them and please 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 respect the author's wishes do not share the passcode and url with other teachers just use it for yourself and this um, area is great for ages 5 to 12. the next one is a library that I also I write curriculum this is called the young learners library it's for ages 4 to 12 and it has all of the curriculum and if you click on that link you don't have to worry about that I have put a limited amount of the curriculum so it's all right I got 10 lessons from each of my levels uh, I also show you here uh, how to use the library a welcoming message as well as you can click there at this way or here and then there is even training on scheduled tips and timings for each level and um, guide. So uh, this would probably be for your ages. It uh, goes usually from, I start as low as three and that can go up to like five or six. This is for like your seven, eight, eight, seven, eight year olds. This could be for your nine, 10 and 11 year olds. So it covers all those ages in there. And then if you go to our next page, this is basically a table of contents. And what you find here on the left is the titles of the lesson. The level or the uh, type of lesson is in the middle as well. Um, and SEL means social emotional learning, which is what I wanted to create a really good library with a lot of social emotional learning. And these are the designers and the authors. So to find these lessons quickly, you just click right on and it brings you to the picture of the lesson. You click then on the picture of the lesson, which will then take you directly to the lesson. You have two options when you see this blue area. This blue area means you can re uh, re replicate it and then put your own emoji there. But what I do is I respect the authors that designed it and the designers and I just do enter full and I just use it from here and it's a really great library it talks about social emotional learning responsibilities fairness caring and citizenship and they come with the videos that talk about it as well as books and then you can discuss those with the students so it's really really cute and then let's look at some of the other lessons after you're done using that lesson you can um, Click on the eggs, the eggs will take you back, and then you can go through the rest of those lessons. There's even a virtual tr trip to Mexico, could be for juniors, could be for young learners, it can be for everyone. And then over here, which I've got to change this to 7 and 11, we have social emotional learning rooms. And what those are is an area that you click on. And this also is very good because we have a fact of the day, a joke or puzzle of the day. You can do a poll. There's small videos and it tells you how long they last. And then again, we have um, really great quotes and then you have a bunch of them to think about. So that could last you for a while as well in the lessons. The next one 
is uh, oh, this one. This is the social emotional learning room for the older students and this is really, really cool. You're gonna hear it when I click on it. Welcome to the Social Emotional Learning Hub. Click on a door to begin. To come back to this page, click on the yellow home button on any slide. To hear a description of each door, click on the gray speaker icon. So you open the door and as you can see, this is one of her rooms and you can get a description of the room by clicking on it. And I'm actually in there. Let me move myself to the right. So you can click on it and it just describes the room. Click on the objects in the room for a sensory break. So I'm clicking on an object and there we go. Oh, I'm in my favorite place. So these are also uh, really great things you can share. And then there's an SEL library. And then we go back Welcome and to the there's a learning room. There's all kinds of learning things that you can teach the students here about circle of control, conflict revolution, uh, the resolution, revolution, empathy, five, four, three, two, one strategies, zones of regulation. And then we go over Welcome here, escape, and I go back. So, and the last one is also really, really great. This is, um, her name's Chong, Chong Lee. I've uh, known her for a while. She creates some of the best colorful lessons. I just love uh, the way her lessons come out. And you just click on that again, and then you can just open it, the three dots, and then you can enter full screen. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. And then it says write, but if you, don't have write, writing the kids I just have it talk talk it out they can talk it out and then there's four videos there as well as when you click on it let's brainstorm ways to be kind which you can always do as a class and then you can look at the transition words when they're talking they can start begin and this is also writing if you want to uh, they do have any writing so this shows them how to write and this is really really nice and again activities that they can do So I hope everybody likes this as much as I do, and I'm just so happy to get it out to everyone. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for volunteering. Thank you for reaching out, and you are making a difference, and the kids are loving the classes, I think as much as we are. <laughs> and I will talk to you soon, and this will be released now, so I hope everybody enjoys it. And have a lovely, lovely Friday, and enjoy your weekend.